Hey, what's up guys? Phil here from Inspire Fitness. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone had a great Thanksgiving. This year, I wanted to do something a little different with the leftovers that we have. Instead of just microwaving it and eating it bland, I wanted to turn it into a Taiwanese dish called turkey rice. You can find it in all the nine markets all around Taiwan. It's really delicious. And the best part is it's so easy to make. So let's get cooking up, guys. There's so much to say about Taiwanese street food. Everybody prides themselves in using the freshest of ingredients, and it really shows with the dishes available there. In today's recipe, we'll be attempting to make Taiwanese turkey rice, which is super flavorful and takes no effort at all to make. So we're gonna be starting off today's recipe with three tablespoons of shallots and green onions. Up next, we got half a turnip and one head of garlic. We got a couple sprigs of rosemary and oregano, one teaspoon of ginger, we got one tablespoon each of soy sauce and rice vinegar. We got our leftover turkey. Make sure to keep the bones here for the broth that we're gonna make. We got one tablespoon of that good old fashioned monk fruit sweetener. We got two tablespoons of minced garlic. If you didn't save the bones, then you could totally just use a canned chicken broth, but trust me guys, you wanna be able to use the bones in this recipe. We got two cups of rice. Then we're gonna be finishing it off with five cups of water. So first things first, we're gonna be making a really amazing chicken broth that can be really made into anything here. Let's start off by adding one tablespoon of oil into the pot and heating it up on medium for one minute or two. After it heats, let's add in our chicken bones which is gonna get nice and incorporated into our broth. Then let's pour in five cups of water and turn the heat to high. Let's wait for the water to boil and then we will let it sit on high for 10 minutes or so. This is gonna break down all the collagen inside the chicken bones and get all that flavor out of the scraps that we were gonna throw away. This is a great way to utilize all the leftovers that we had from our Thanksgiving feast. After the broth has been boiling for 10 minutes, let's add in one head of garlic that we chopped in half, a couple of nubs of ginger, half a turnip, and a handful of black peppers. Our peppercorns work really nicely as well. And finish it off with the rosemary and oregano from earlier. Now let's let this broth sit for two hours on medium low heat and let all those flavors combine and elevate a simple chicken broth into a flavor bomb. The longer you let it sit, the better this becomes. You can use this for chicken noodle soup, pho, ramen, whatever your heart desires. After two hours, let's take out all the big chunks or just use a colander to sift everything out. The house should smell amazing at this point and you can honestly just drink this stuff with a little bit of salt and pepper. It's perfect for the holidays and it's great to eat when you're dieting. If you want to skip this step, then you can definitely just use a canned chicken broth, but try to simmer it with the same vegetables we used in this recipe. Now that the chicken broth is done, let's add in some seasoning that the turkey will soak in. Let's start off by pouring one cup's worth of broth into a separate container and add in one tablespoon of dark soy sauce, one tablespoon of rice vinegar, you can use a Chinese black vinegar as well, and one tablespoon of monk fruit sweetener. Then just mix it all up and you got this simple, herby, savory soup that the turkey will soak up nicely. Now let's add in some green onions and some garlic to finish. Mix it all up and put around one pound of leftover turkey into the soup base. If you have leftovers, then the turkey breast will most likely be barely seasoned as most of the flavor is on the skin and the surface of the meat. This adds in a little bit of that salt we need so that our meals for the next week aren't so bland. And that is really it for the recipe guys. You get this awesome herby and savory turkey dish that really transcends the microwave dinners you'll have for the next week or so. We added a little bit of spicy oil on top of the turkey, which we can definitely afford since there's barely any fat in the turkey breast. We put around 200 grams of white rice into each of these and topped it with some green onions and some minced ginger as well. Make sure to pour the soup on top of the rice as well so you can add a little extra kick of flavor. I hope you guys try this out and eat this along with the other leftovers you have from the meal. I hope you guys like these videos and we're so excited to make these for you. If you want more healthy Asian recipes, then make sure to subscribe to our channel and we'll be happy to take any suggestions for different types of Asian dishes. We hope you guys like these videos and we will see you guys on the next one.